Let me let you in on a little secret. If you earned an extra $300 a week, you could be a millionaire in 21 years. If you don't believe me, let me show you how an extra three of these can get you on your way to sipping Mai Tai on your yacht that has its own support yacht. If we assume you only start off with $300 in investments and you add $300 to your portfolio every single week with an average rate of return of 10%, in 21 years, you'll be a millionaire. And I'll let you in on another secret on how you can get that extra $300. And it's by starting a side hustle. And trust me, these nine side hustles I'm gonna talk about can earn you a lot more than just $300 a week. In fact, you can turn some of these into full-time six-figure jobs. So for each of these nine side hustles, I'll explain what they are, how much you can earn, as well as a tip or trick that I recommend to really boost your earnings. So if you're ready to be a millionaire, turn that like button into a beautiful, beautiful blue, and let's get into it. The first side hustle I like to call if you're able to read this, then you're qualified. And just like the name says, if you're able to watch this video, then you already have the most important skill needed for this job, which is the ability to understand and speak English, which will be important because you're gonna be teaching English online. And this specific site that I'll get into has one of the highest pay per hour that I could find online. Seriously, you can earn 18 to $27 for each 50 minute class that you teach, and you also have the opportunity to get bonuses on top of that. Now, although this is some really high pay, there are some specific requirements that you'll need. But don't fret because there's still a lot of similar websites out there that require less qualifications and no experience needed, but would still pay you a good hourly rate. Now, this site that pays the highest I could found is called Whale English, where you essentially teach English to students in China. I personally have a really good friend that actually works for them and really enjoys the schedule because she can pretty much work from anywhere in the world as long as she has a steady internet connection. And in turn, she's making some cold hard cash. And if you think $27 an hour is a lot, wait until you hear about the next job. The next side hustle I like to call Headhunter. And don't worry, you won't be hunting any heads like in The Walking Dead or doing anything super violent. It's simply the industry terminology that is used for people who do this kind of job, which is helping other people find jobs, which would be your side job. Oof, that was really a tongue swisser. So in essence, you're a virtual recruiter, but just wait until you see exactly how much money you can earn from this website. But first, this job simply entails you look for people and you recruit them for the healthcare industry. And don't worry, you don't need to have any healthcare experience. In fact, the healthcare industry is booming because healthcare jobs are on the rise are in super high demand. Research shows that the healthcare industry will grow by 18% by the year 2026, which adds a nearly 2.3 million jobs to the economy. And the perfect opportunity for you is that there simply isn't enough people to fill those jobs. So if you can find really good candidates, then you can actually earn up to $10,000 per hire. And on average, the virtual recruiters earn $4,500 per candidate placement. And the website is called reload.com. And again, you don't need to worry about knowing anything about the healthcare industry because you're just finding professionals who would be interested and you're referring them to the company. Now the next side hustle I'd like to dub, get paid to sit and walk. Now this side hustle is a little bit more physical in the sense that you actually need to go to a certain place to do it. However, if you love animals, then this is a great opportunity for you to play with, walk with, and just hang around with dogs. And did I mention you also get paid to do this? You can actually earn up to $1,000 a month, according to the website, which is rover.com. And of course, the pay depends on the service that you provide and how often you work. Uh, essentially, these services include like walking dogs, pet boarding, doggy daycare, house sitting, or just general drop-in services. This side hustle is pretty easy because it's super flexible, and the great thing is that you can be doing other stuff too. Like while you're dog sitting, you can be turning that like button into a beautiful, beautiful blue for this cute doggo over here. The next side hustle I like to call digital price arbitrage and definitely make sure you save for the one after this one because that is the highest pay per hour side hustle that I could find. Now for digital price arbitrage, I know it sounds fancy, but trust me, it's actually pretty simple and you can do it all in the comfort of your own home and actually make some pretty big bucks. Now make sure you perk your ears up because this strategy that I have does get a little bit technical. It's way more advanced than the traditional way of doing drop shipping that I haven't seen anyone else talk about very much. Essentially what you're doing is price arbitraging, meaning that you're taking advantage of price differences with the same item in two different marketplaces. But this strategy has a twist that I've seen actually be very successful. You can very easily make hundreds if not thousands every single month from the strategy and really the amount of work that you need to do depends on which of my two strategies that I'm going to share with you. Essentially you go on Etsy and yes I know it's famous for handmade custom gifts but that's how you can sell your goods more expensively. 
expensive well one of those expensively expensive now what you want to do is look for popular items on etsy that are relatively small and light like jewelry rings necklaces iphone cases etc and then you want to go on aliexpress and find something similar or the same item and then sell it. Create an Etsy profile and you can mark the prices higher on average or even less than what the marketplace on Etsy is currently selling it for. Now you have two strategies that you can execute. One is you can either go with the traditional drop shipping route where you drop ship it and you ship it only through AliExpress once you have an order on Etsy. Or two, you can order a bunch of the items to your home and ship it from your home once you get an order from Etsy. If you're building out an Etsy brand from scratch, I'm gonna recommend the latter just because shipping time is definitely a struggle when it comes to AliExpress because the items are shipped from China and people could be waiting weeks for the items and you probably don't want that from the start given that you need uh, good reviews to build out your brand. The next side hustle is called the knowledgeable one and you're it, you're the knowledgeable one. No matter who you are, you have some knowledge that other people are willing to pay for. And no, I'm not talking about some janky survey website that every single other person is talking about. This website that I'm gonna share with you focuses on one-to-one -one consumer research studies and focus groups, both in person and online. And they do pay a pretty penny too. More specifically, they pay on average 14,000 pretty pennies or $140 on average per hour, according to their website, which not only makes this website the best paying online survey company that I've ever seen, but it's also the most legitimate because they offer a wide array of survey options from consumer research, business research, product research, etc. that I've personally participated in. And the website is called respondent.io, where I have a referral link down below if you do want to sign up. Plus, I'll show you how you can maximize your time and earnings with Respondent based off my own experience. Number one is you want to set a calendar reminder for new studies every few days because Respondent does not send out survey opportunities or reminders. Number two is fill out the screener as quickly as possible because these surveys are really hot given exactly how much they pay. And number three is be honest with your background and your experience because they have a really good filtering mechanism um, that would disqualify you for jobs that you're not qualified for. The next side hustle is called sustenance support and this one is a bit more physical so make sure you stay for the one after this because that is completely passive income. Sustenance support is really popular right now because you know the, the health situation that's going on right now and even though it's getting better in the United States because of the vaccine distribution, many people still prefer to use this website instead. And depending on where you're located, you can actually earn a decent amount of money where you can actually make $20 plus per hour when it's really busy. The website or the app is called Instagram. Instagram? Are you sure? Because that doesn't really make any sense. Oh, Instacart, Instacart. Could we redo that? <laughs> the app is called Instacart, an on-demand grocery pickup and delivery service. And the cool thing about Instacart is that you can preview your earnings before you take each job, so you can pick it up only if the order is worth your time. Generally, the larger the grocery order, the more you're paid, so you don't even have to go to the gym anymore and just do some bicep curls with some grocery bags. The next side hustle is called Vision, and that's not related to this vision, so Marvel, please don't sue me. This side hustle is a fantastic way to make some passive income and I actually have a few friends who do it and I'm gonna be honest they actually make a decent amount of side income every month and the only equipment that you need for the side hustle nowadays is your phone assuming that you have one of those fancy schmancy phones with those super HD high focus 8k cameras like the iPhone 12 or, or whatever you can actually earn a couple hundred dollars every single month depending on the time of the year and the niche that you're selling your photos to and essentially what you're doing is selling the pictures that you took two websites like iStock Photo. But pay attention because in a few minutes, I'm actually gonna show you how my friend uses his strategy on how he earns more than the average person with stock photos without doing anything. And this job is super passive income because you can just take your photo once, you upload it onto this website, and it would sell over and over again without you needing to take anything else. Now the trick here, and what my friend told me, is that you need to take lifestyle pictures. Pictures of people doing interesting things, and you need to understand what kind of images sell as stock photos and shoot those. For example, you need to check out what's trending in the news lately. For example, in the United States, if it's about healthcare, then you can bet that the best stock photos during that time is gonna be photos of like, people being injected with needles, people wearing masks outside, and general stuff like that. Remember to play to the trends and remember, lifestyle.
The next side hustle I like to call the manager. And make sure you stay for the last one because that's personally my favorite side hustle and I think actually has the biggest gains out of all of these. Your role with being the manager is essentially you're managing and operating various different tasks and parts of the business. And I know that sounds very general because the job is very general. You're essentially gonna be a virtual assistant and you're gonna be doing a bunch of different stuff from scheduling, responding to emails, communicating with others, editing, writing, and a lot, lot more. And trust me, these guys get paid a good amount of money without actually needing a college degree. A beginner virtual assistant can earn anywhere from 10 to $25 per hour, and an experienced virtual assistant can make anywhere from 50 to $100 per hour or wait more. And this job is growing in popularity because as more people start online businesses, they're gonna need people who can manage their business. So after you get a good understanding of what the role entails, you can pretty much just YouTube videos and read blogs about it. Then you wanna go on freelancing websites like Fiverr or Upwork and and you want to market yourself as a virtual assistant for hire. Now the tip here is you really need to stand out by making sure you have really good references and that you have a killer pitch ready on how you can help the business thrive. And last but not least, my favorite side hustle is called Money Multiplier. And honestly, this is one of my favorites. When I work on a bunch of other side hustles, I tend to funnel nearly everything I make into this one single thing because of one reason. And that reason is I wanna make my money work for me. And there are no limits to how much you can actually make from Money Multiplier. A more common name for this is just called investing. And before you click away, I actually have a trick up my sleeve that I'll share at the end that will make investing so much easier. Because I truly understand that following the markets and understanding all the stuff that's going on with the markets and the economy is really challenging and this trick that I'm gonna share will make it a lot easier. Now there really is no limit on how much you can make as a side hustle here because it really is dependent on the markets like during the 2020s there was a massive bull run and it wasn't unreasonable to double your money in a day but of course with that very quick gains, that does come with some risk. So definitely keep that in mind. The average stock market return for the S&P 500 is about 10% per year for nearly the last century. So remember the example that I gave in the beginning, where we assume if you start off with $300 in investments and add $300 to your portfolio every single week with an average rate of return of 10%, in 21 years, you'll be a millionaire. Now, the trick that I have for you is, yes, I know it's very time consuming and challenging to follow the market news every single day. So I wanna share with you the daily Daily market briefs. This is a daily newsletter with the most important market news simplified so you can understand what's going on in just three minutes. Now, before you go out there and start YOLOing everything on Bitcoin and GameStop, just keep in mind that investing has its own risk, especially if you invest in individual stocks. If you're a bit more risk adverse, then a safer bet is just investing in like an index fund like the S&P 500. If you wanna learn more about index funds, check out this video over here. As always, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I have some other really special offers for you. If you wanna get $10 for free in Bitcoin on Coinbase, check out the referral links down below. And if you say it until the end, you guys are the real ones. So make sure you comment down below a milli a milli so I know you guys are the real ones.